So uh, Jerry Brown is inaugurated as governor of California today. Um, so he's in the news. And um, I thought it would be, uh, be fun to tell you the story about the day that Jerry Brown came to visit me in my apartment. The year was 1989. I had just moved from Berkeley down to Los Angeles, and I was living in Venice. I was in a beachside apartment, a real rat hole. Um, but it was on the beach, and it was very close to Jim Morrison's old apartment, so I enjoyed it. Anyway, my roommate um, had, uh, had worked for, for Governor Brown when, uh, when he was the head of the California Democratic Party. And um, so we had a lot of stuff in the apartment that, um, that used to be part of a political campaign. Uh, that's sort of a time-honored tradition. When things wrap up, uh, when campaigns end, uh, the items just sort of disappear. So we had, we had some cool stuff. Uh, two things in particular. One was uh, we had a very cool phone. Um, that uh, that made it so we didn't have to buy a phone. And the second thing we had was um, a big flag of um, the Earth in space. Uh, it was one of Jerry Brown's moon flags. Uh, as I understand, the governor was very, very proud of these flags. Um, and uh, probably would not be happy to find out that we had it in any event. One morning, one sleepy, sleepy morning, there was a knock on the door downstairs, and this, this rat hole of an apartment did not have any intercom or anything like that, so one of us had to go down uh, and answer the door. So I went down and I answered the door, and it was someone I'd never seen before. Um, and I, I said, yeah, hi. Uh, and, and he said, oh, you must be Brad. And I said, uh, yeah. And he said, well, I'm, I'm a friend. Of, um, of your roommates, and I'm not going to name my roommate because um, that's uh, it's up to him to say who he is. But anyway, I'm, I'm a friend of your roommates. Um, and uh, is he home? And, and I said, uh, I said, yeah. And uh, the guy at the door said, oh, well, tell him we'll be right up. And I sort of confusedly said, oh, okay. I, I wasn't thinking very straight. Um, uh, and, I, and I looked looked over, and uh, behind this guy, sort of in the alleyway, was this dark sedan. Uh, it was like a rental car, like a, like a luxury rental car. And there was a guy in the, in the passenger seat. And it looked like, nah, couldn't be. Anyway, I went upstairs, and I, and I came inside, and I said to my roommate, hey, um, your friend is here, I named him, and uh, it looks like he has Jerry Brown with him. And you would not believe how quickly my friend, my roommate, sprang into action. First thing he did was he jumped to the wall and he ripped the flag down and he shoved it under a sofa. And then he began cleaning up. There's all sorts of stuff in the apartment that, that, you know, you don't necessarily want someone to see when they walk in the door. Uh, yeah, I was young, you'll remember, fresh out of college. And a couple moments later, our door knocks, and this is our apartment door now, and in the, in the doorway is the friend and Jerry Brown. What an amazing thing. Turns out that uh, this was before cell phones, and uh, the friend was taking Governor Brown from apartment from appointment to appointment, and uh, he needed a place to stop and make some phone calls. So we thought he'd come by our place. So uh, so there he was. He walked in the door. I was I was quite cowed, um, and he looked around. He looked at he looked at the corners of the apartment. And he sort of looked around. And the way, our, the way our apartment was set up, when you walk in, you're basically like right in the kitchen. And we were just slovenly. We, we were just, you know, the classic bachelor apartment. Terrible. Dishes piling out of the, out of the sink, you know, underwear on the floor, 
everything you can imagine, and worse. He looked around and he said, in a very gruff voice, this apartment is a guarantee of celibacy. I had never imagined that I would hear a former governor of California say those words to me. I'll tell you that. And I'm very proud to have heard them. And he was right, really. It, the apartment was terrible. And it went on from there. He chit-chatted a little bit. And he had this sort of his gruff way. And, and uh, uh, he sat down a little bit and began to reminisce about, uh, about the old campaign. And then he sat down to start to make his, uh, make his calls. Now you'll remember that we had some items in our apartment from our uh, from the campaign. One of those was the phone. So he's dialing, he's dialing, he's about to, and he stops. Hey, is this my phone? He made the call. He let us keep the phone. He never found out about the moon flag, but I have had this story with me ever since, and I thank my roommate, I thank Governor Brown, I congratulate him on his return to the governorship, and I'll talk to you next time.